E gigo ne atingo godo mena ta paro sama ne kotho go gi no Ngima ok du Dino ke tingi wi kan mano ke ko to yu kuot mara ta to de ni Are you anti camera?
così 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 Aneno non lo caia. Ecco. E ne di bello. Ne? Allora, eh? Allora, che cosa c'è? Cosa c'è? Ma che 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 c'è? Ma Let's tour the village. This village is a very healthy village. You can see it by yourself, guys. Almost every road is paved. They are well armed and uh, transportation it's always very soft here very easy so the main economic activity of these people is farming even though the farming is done in a small scale just for home use and these are the kind of houses people built here you can see that good so you can see the vegetation around they are very green <laughs> you can see the kind of houses you see that so the kind of houses there is somebody giving animals some food, some napier grass, you can see them there. Look at those beautiful homes. Yeah, they are beautiful indeed. Do you see them? Very nice. This is a rural setup. People are living comfortably. See that? The area is well supplied by electricity. You can see the electric cables and the pole somewhere there. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm now joining the main road to Kangeso Secondary School. So this is the road going to Kangeso Secondary School. And it's a Maram road. It has not been tarmacked. Yeah. For many years. It has not been tarmacked. But the best thing or the best thing that uh, the MP of this area has done is supplying this area with electricity this area is well electrified and uh, roads are also well maintained and therefore movement has been made possible because of that okay look at that home you see that fence? There is another fence over there. If you see that, those are very nice homes with nice fences and compounds. I really love them. So look at that home. Okay. So I told you many people are engaged in agriculture. 
even there is a farm there, a maize plantation. And somebody also planted a lot of trees there. So farming is a, an economic activity that is carried out by many people within this locality. I really love this. Let us just enjoy this village tour together. I hope you are enjoying it. So kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time to be our viewer and we kindly request you to be a permanent viewer. Whenever we post our videos, we invite you to view and view and view again and again. So we are still making tours across the village. You can see the trees that grow. So I'm deviating from the road going to Kangeso Secondary. Now I'm taking another road, another um, another road actually leading to the main road that leads to Kuyokodal. So this is uh, another road that will uh, lead me to the main road that goes to Kuyokodal. So let's walk. Look at the kind of trees. This is a kind of a swamp. There is a lot of water that has accumulated here. And actually it was too much. It covered everywhere. Even in this place I'm walking right now, it was full of water. But at least because it has not rained for some time, for a few days, the level of water has reduced significantly. You can see the swamp. That is the swamp. There is a bird there. It, so the water was too much, but now at least it has reduced. See that? Good. Let's go. Yeah. So animal keeping is also a very important uh, uh, economic activity that people carry out. Yes. I hope you saw those animals. You know, those ones are kept for beef and some for dairy purposes and I think also bulls are also kept for for farming you can see how the water was very 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 you know the level was high but now at least it has reduced this is a very big swamp in fact this is one of the swamps that supplies this village with the water There you go, sugarcane plantation. Those are plots. Look at that home with the huge trees. This is a typical village. Mm. Very typical life in the village yes it is very typical typical 